a snow injector with the homemade pop tester. Those nice and snug. Now, give her a test. Pop pressure is a little low, so we're going to start cranking her up. Have my own wrench here. I buried it somewhere. Oh, here it is. This one's got an adjustable spring on this. Reach to the top here. Pretty close. Do a couple of these off camera so I can get this figured out. Got some leak by, but uh, these are those older style injectors. Some of them, that's what they were meant to do, is leak by a little bit. Okay, this is actually a bad injector, and I'm going to show you why. I mean, other than the pressure going down pretty steadily, but quickly. We're also showing signs it's overflowing here. So you're getting a lot of bypass, which signifies a wear out needle. And as I approach my pressure, let's see here, it just leaks, see? doesn't want to crackle. See? And then even when I give it a hard squirt, it just sprays. So that needle seed is completely worn out. It's just not going to work. So, I'm going to try my hand at rebuilding that. I'm going to have to order some new tips and needles in. And this is what's nice about using a jack. Got my pressure up. Turn the jack valve. Here we go. Now I can take it and loosen it. Now take it and loosen it. I want to show you something I had to do. This older injector was actually uh, injection line was kind of worn out, and it was uh, stopping me from getting a good tight fit on this. So I have an O-ring set just keeping my shop here. I actually put an O-ring up in here on the back side, so it helped push this down. It's tight fitting, took up some extra room and allowed it to seal. So that eight core could get that tension it needs. Alright. Now, when you're testing these, what I've noticed while off camera is you want to check for leaks from up here. That means your acorn might need tightened a bit more. You want to check if you're getting a lot of fill in here. If you're getting a lot of fill in here while you're checking these, you know, that's the bypass line. Uh, you probably got a worn out needle down the nozzle here. Then you want to check out, is flu coming around here? Is it coming around here? If it's coming around either way, those sides, you're going to have to take this ejector back apart. So, loosen this up. Clean that face, because it's probably dirty. Then re-tighten it back up. Or you may need to just re-snug this with this uh, nut here. And if you get diesel coming out of the tip, that means your needle and see your price shot and it's just leaking by. Now if you're wondering why these are adjustable, I'm going to take this nut off and show you real quick. See the own screw. Right, there's just a spring in this style of injector. Some of these are shimmed, so keep in mind now injector's going to be the same. But in this particular model, you can actually tighten and loosen this to get your pop pressures where you need them. So I'm going to take this one apart. I do need my advice to use it. Oh, 
Also, I wanted to show you how I'm filling this pop tester. Since, you know, I'm only doing just a few injectors. Just take this side plug off, just like I'm filling the jack. You got nice O-rings and everything for this side. Pull a diesel right here. And then that hole. See? It just starts to come out, which is fine. And you're going to have to, see, have to catch some of the spills. And how much came out, and it's not really a big hassle for me to do it this way. I mean, I'm probably only filling it once every one to two injectors. And you know, if you're doing it for yourself, that's fine. You saved yourself money, otherwise you wouldn't be building one of these yourself, obviously. Alright, pop this out of my vise. This is how I secure it to the vise, or to the piece of wood. Just some washers. Well, it's fine. Okay, I'm going to show you how to uh, put pieces into acorn fades. At least a trick I've always used. And sometimes, you know, they can be a little finicky on getting the seal. So I'll get them up to the point where they start feeling snug. And I'll actually grab the piece that I'm putting in, move it a little bit. There will actually feel like feel a time where it feels like it's a flat spot. That's actually selling into the acorn space perfectly, which allows for a really good seal. Once you get to that, you hold it at that position and snug it down the rest of the way around. This should be the good injector, so you guys can get an idea of what that's going to look like. See? You can hear it right away. You hear that nice sing sound, even when I come up to it slowly. And here's where this gets misleading when you're troubleshooting injectors, is I'm coming up to my pressure at 3,200. See, it'll try to act like it's dripping. But that's because, you know, that's hydraulic force there. And it's a lower style injector. But, oh, of course now on video it doesn't matter. Apparently I got all bad injectors. Ah, oh, there we go. So as you approach it, see, slow, it likes to hum, chatter. That's what you're looking for. And I think as a final note, I want to also t say to everybody that uh, don't disassemble these first. Check them in your pop tester before going through the work I did of disassembling them. This is the first time I'm doing any of this. I just wanted to see, teach myself how this all works, you know, using the tools of the internet and uh, arriving at some of my own conclusions. Because you could save yourself a lot of work. You could find out if the injectors weren't out leaking. You can find if the injector has too much bypass, you know, stuff like that.